Good morning, a bit of a random video this one. Uh, it is still doll related, but it's still something I've never done before, never taken part in. So this is a bit of fun really. I've received a parcel, which I have owned it. So there is, I do know roughly what the contents is because I needed to read the instructions on how this is going to work. But basically this is what it is. Can you see that? If that's not back to front, it looks back to front to me. I'm hoping it isn't when you guys see it. But basically it says hashtag hot potato happy mail. Now this is from Dolls Rescued in the US and it is Darren and Marna. I hope I pronounced your name right there, Darren. It's not a name we really hear over here. We hear Darren, but I've not really heard Darren. So because I know people sometimes get my name wrong, but I don't mind really, but apologies if I have got it wrong. In here are the instructions of what hot potato happy mail means. Basically, um, I've been sent a little parcel with sealed items, but sealed so I can see. We're going to have a proper look when we go top down. And I can choose either one or two items out of that bag for me to keep as sort of a little, part, a little gift for me being part of the happy mail. But I also then have to put either the one or the two something else's doll related back in sealed with my name on it but i will explain that properly when we do as i say we go top down so you can see what i'm talking about it's a bit hard when doing it this way because um i've watched other people's videos on it so i get an idea what i'm supposed to do i hope i'm doing this all right uh because it's like i said it's not something i've done before so we're going to have a look at what i've been sent in these bags and i can choose my item and i'm going to tell you where it's from but because i'm the first one in the chain it's not that difficult because it is from Dolls Rescued. <laughs> so, but if the next person does it, they then would sort of say Dolls Rescued and then they'd say Octopud in my channel. Obviously, it's got a funny colour. I've gone really pale. That's really weird. I don't know why. Um, so I will explain how that works because there's full instructions in here. So I will show you the sheet so you can see what it is. But basically what happens next is if you would like to take part in this hashtag hot potato happy mail, you'll put a comment down below and then I will obviously then choose somebody within that sort of realm that I know that, you know, they can, they can do this or they've got the facilities because it's a case of doing a quick video. Uh, and getting it out to the next person and you will ask for somebody else to put comments computer's just turned itself off um, But I will explain it all properly there because I don't think I explain that very well at all So I'm going to turn the camera top down and we're gonna have a look and I will find out what I'm going to choose The only thing I'm not sure about is do I show you what I put in? I don't think I'm going to I've got something ready, but it will be a surprise then for the next person so when they open their happy mail, they can see that I've put two brand new items in, not the ones they've seen on here. And they may want to choose them, but they may want to choose something else. And then they will go through the same process again, pick out one or two items they want, and then replace it with one or two items themselves and send it on to the next one. And basically we're going to sort of see how far it can get. I think this is the first one that's come out of the US. They've basically all been over there. So this is sort of like a worldwide one. So we'll see what happens um if you're not sure and if i've not i probably haven't explained it very well i will pop a link into doll's rescue channel and she will explain even further what the hot potato happy mail is about but let's have a look what's in this parcel first and i'll try and explain a little bit more so be patient with me hi here is the second part of the hot potato happy mail i'm afraid it's been how did i say oh, i said happy meal didn't i what am i doing Hi, here is the second part of this hot potato happy mail and I'm hoping I'm going to explain it a little bit better. The only thing is, I've already filmed this once and when I got to my camera, there was nothing on it. Oops. And then when I tried to pop this camera, well, my phone back on the stand, my, my stand actually snapped. So it, my phone is actually sellotaped uh, to my stand here. So this is... It's going to be one of those days. I just know it's one of those days. You can just tell. So hopefully I'm going to get through this. But the only problem being is um, some of it's not going to be, well, it will be accurate, but I've already done some of it. So you sort of a little bit of a spoiler alert there. So basically this is our happy mail, hot potato happy mail 
make sure we get that hashtag in and it's the first one because as i've mentioned i think it's the first one out of the us all the rest have been done over there this has really taken some time to get here i had wondered i know uh, mona had, had an accident so i presume she just put it all on hold but the date of postage is actually 24th of september so it has taken a while to get here but now obviously with it being in the uk if it's going to be staying in the european area sort of things uh in the uk it should move fast because the whole point of it is that we move it fast but because i'm the first one it's not the end of the world that that hasn't happened so in this little bag they have put their various items put the bag to one side plus there is this envelope and this is probably the most important thing i can tell you about i did mention i will pop mana's link in the in the links below um if you're not sure what i mean pop onto hers or just put in hashtag hot potato and see if anyone else has done one i know there was one i had a look at earlier just to give me an idea on what i was supposed to say but here we go so hashtag hot potato happy mail it says please read each channel name in your video now obviously i'm the first one so there's only uh, one to read which is here so it's dolls rescued darren and mana and then i will print my octopud in and sarah in there and then the next person who gets it will shout out both me and them and then so on and so on and so on so we can try and fill the sheet and see what happens because the thing is the items are never going to deplete because when you pick something out you put something back so you're never going to sort of get a smaller parcel if anything it might get bigger you never know so i can pop that bit to one side as well keep the envelope it's in and don't seal it and then we can, it can be reused for everybody now here's also some instructions and it says how it works as i've read through this once because i've done the video once so you think i won't need to read it again uh but it just says i am holding a hot potato happy mail created and started by dolls rescue donor mana and a little bit on the pronunciation here so i'm hoping i did it right and it says i read this sheet out loud when i open the happy mail in a video the video must have the hashtag hot potato happy mail in it this is a way that everybody else can follow it as well i've just realized i've not shut the door either so i'm probably going to get a pussycat in here and i just hope she doesn't knock my phone and read the names loud on the card which we've said and also each of these little packages you must put when you put yours back in as it says here it's the item and who it's from so there needs to be a little bit of paper in there and it's real that's okay it says replace the items um value approximately five dollars so obviously a bit of conversion there four pound ish or more depending on what you've got and how generous you feel like being and then you will seal your new item into a bag make sure they are sealed because these must not be opened unless you've chosen a particular item if you've chosen it that's the one you open that's the one you keep and that's the one that you replace so they are sealed obviously it's better to be sealed because sort of but you don't want to be handling things and things like that so you must do that let's have a look it says obviously print your name and channel name on the card so then next time you get a little shout out and let's have a look oh my dog's coming in now i say i forgot to shut the door so that means they're all going to join me <laughs> then we will send the mess we will send this package on to the next person so if you're interested in joining in pop a comment below say that you want to do it and make sure sort of obviously you realize you've got you've got to do the video and you've got to get it back out as fast as possible and you need an item ready to replace or replenish the either one or two items you've taken so you do need to think about that as well um da, 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 da. yeah obviously if it is a doll we need to make sure the hair is done it's got clothes and shoes uh, i'm just reading what you may not do do not open the other bags you only can choose the one or the two and those are the only ones you must open you must not take anything out of these bags uh clothing and props must be either new or handmade and new all doll related of course and there is okay so there must be as many items in the hot potato happy meal when you got it than when you send it out or you can add something else as well if you want that's entirely up to you so that's basically the rules and the next person will get sent those rules as well so they'll know what to do with their video so i'm going to pop this back in the envelope and then that one is ready to go out to the next person and it will go in the ziploc bag with everything else now here are the parcels 
Now, because I've already done the video, I've already opened the item I was going to keep. But we're going to run through what we have anyway. And I'll explain why I chose the items I kept. Now, each bag, as we mentioned, does have what the item is. Because especially different scales, people might want to know sort of how large it is or what doll it's suitable for. Now, this is for a Poopsie Surprise doll. And it is, again, is from Dolls Rescued. It's all going to be from Dolls Rescued because it's the first one. So this is one of uh, Darren's stands. As much as I would love one of the stands... I don't have poopsie dolls and I'm not really sure on their sizing, so it's not something that would have suited me. Now this one, again, as you can see, it says from Dolls Rescue. The packaging explains what it is this time. It says it fits most 18-inch dolls and you can see an example of the doll. And it's a t-shirt and leggings, which is really cute. It's got a little unicorn on it as well, so that's really lovely. Again, not a scale I have. I am predominantly that sort of 12, 11, well, 10, 11, 12-inch fashion doll, so Barbie, Cindy's. Obviously, I've got my Blythes, my Monster Highs, things like that. So there is that mixture. Now, this one this one I would have been tempted with, but I don't really make shoes. As you can see, it says Monster High Shoe Soles, which is a brilliant idea. Again, these are 3D printed, I'm presuming, from, with, from Darren to do them. And if you're a shoe designer, sometimes you'll make a shoe, but you haven't got the sole. And that makes it a little bit difficult. This is great. I mean, look at these. Um, so you could make quite a few pairs of shoes out of that but again it's not something I make so that's to one side now this is the parcel I picked it was wrapped up like these it was sealed it did have the little label on and it says it was Barbie and obviously it was from Dolls Rescued now this is the scale I collect this is the one I work on more than anything else so this is why I chose this so it has been undone I wouldn't have undone it though unless I was having it and like I say my video disappeared so unfortunately it went that way but these are lovely one of them I had to actually unbox it did come in a little box so it did even come really nicely wrapped etc etc but like I say for some reason the video disappeared and we have a Barbie Cindy all those size doll dresses so that'll fit any of mine which is great it looks a little bit monster highish I'm now it's too too wide isn't it for monster high it's definitely more Barbie based isn't it um there was a little Velcro back there. We've got all the sparkles that you could possibly want. We have a little backpack which will fit any of my dolls, which is fabulous. We have our little strap so we can go over the shoulders or onto the back. So that's really cool. And then this one was definitely the one my favourite, I think, out of the lot. It's a little Care Bear top. Now, the little Care Bear top was in a proper box, a proper Barbie box. Um, well, as I've already mentioned, unfortunately, losing the video means it had already been opened and I couldn't put it back in the box. That would not have made any sense at all. And it just wouldn't have gone in anyway. But look how cute they are. Love Care Bears. There seems to be a lot of Care Bears coming out. I noticed there's a new Pullip coming out next year because the pre-orders are up for it. And she's Care Bear as well. Um, I know there's the Barbie Care Bear. We can't find it over here, though. That's the frustrating bit. Sometimes we see these items and it is predominantly sort of America that are getting them. But obviously, she's an American company, isn't it, Barbie? So you can't really expect any more. But I think that is absolutely adorable. And it's made me now want to go down to our Tesco and get one of the little cute Care Bears that they've got in. They're only about this big. So I might have to get one of them. But I need to think what to make. Make a little skirt or something to go with it a little pair of shorts perhaps i don't really cl uh, crochet bottom items i'm inclined to sort of do more tops cardigans hats scarves all that but i think i might have to make something because i think i make a really cute cute picture and i think i'm actually might put it on my pink haired cindy because then i think that would look really nice one of the new cindy's that have come out so thank you very much mana for that absolutely love it it's perfect for my scale of doll i have so this is the item i have chosen and that is why I'd opened it. I have not opened anything else here that's all nice and clean and sealed with the names on. But I now need to replace it. But I'm not going to tell you what I'm replacing it with because I think that's the idea. Then the next person, it's a surprise. They're looking at more items. So I will be popping something in there. I'll probably be popping something in I have made as well. Because as you know, as Octopudding, I do make and sell various crocheted items. That is my main part of my business. So I will probably have something in there like that as well. And there might be something else as well. We're not going to tell though. So hopefully, if you're interested, pop your information below. 
somebody will get picked out then they will be contacted and we will move on to the next person and we'll just keep it rolling and rolling as fast as we can and get as many people as we can that's the other thing so thank you for watching please if you do enjoy watching my videos please like subscribe and share we definitely need comments for this because i need to know who's going to be doing the next hot potato and i will see you all very soon and we'll see where this ends up i think this is so much fun so i will see you all later bye bye for now